Real art lover or you're just looking for a bargain, right there is the place to be. We're talking about the Pinrod Arts Fair. This is the 51st year for the event, which goes on at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. We're joined here this morning by Dan Lechleiter, who is the president of Pinrod. Thanks for joining us here this morning. Thank you for having so Everything me. gets underway here at 9 o'clock this morning. What do people need to know if they come out today? You know, I think people really just need to be prepared to uh, enjoy a lot of different art and media. We have over 300 artists. We have six performance stages, Matt. Uh, we have 75 uh, vendors and many other food vendors. Uh, it's really going to be a great day, especially with the wonderful weather we're going to have today. Yeah, last year I know we had rain and it was pretty wet out there. The good news is Kelly's calling for clear skies today and nice weather. To that end, you're expecting a large crowd today. What do people sort of need to know in terms of parking and ticket information? So tickets are $20 at the gate today. Uh, children 10 and under are free uh, in terms of parking. Our big new parking ad this year is at the south lot of the state fairgrounds. We have continuous shuttles running. Uh, patrons can also park at Light of the World Christian Church, uh, Major Taylor Velodrome, uh, Butler University, and they can park at the IMA for $30 if they want to pay extra to be close. And this is also called Indiana's Nicest Day. That's right. Where did that sort of nickname come from, and how did Penrod start 51 years ago? Uh, you know, Penrod began... Uh, was really started by a group of gentlemen, uh, 22 guys, who came together and said, we want to we want to serve the Indianapolis community, and they didn't quite have a, a fit. And so they decided they want to support what was then the Indianapolis Art Institute and help uh, the Art Institute build its facility. And so they decided what better way to help the Art Institute than to have an art fair. And from there, we've grown from supporting only the Art Institute, which became the IMA, mm -hmm. uh, to dozens and dozens of other organizations in the community. And this money raised from ticket sales, it all goes to a good cause as well. It goes to a great cause. Uh, we give uh, our money back through an annual allocations process each year uh, based on a grant writing process to uh, mm -hmm. arts organizations in town, arts programs at schools, uh, art therapy programs at hospitals, including Riley. Um, and a number of other uh, programs around town that have art programs or need arts funding. Okay. And as we kind of saw from that video, the art there really runs the gamut. It's not just one sort of discipline or it's just all going to be paintings. It's a lot of different art pieces kind of all together. That's right, Matt. It's, uh, we have 3D media, we have 2D media, and also a big part that I think is often overlooked is the performance art. We have, we have ballet, we have dance, we have symphony. Uh, music of all varieties. Uh, it, there's really something for every taste. And prices of all varieties as well. That's right. Great. Dan, thanks so much for joining us. We have much more information about this for you on WTHR.com. The Pinrod Arts Fair is from 9 this morning until 5 tonight at the IMA. Pinrod.org has more information as well. We have linked that for you on WTHR.com.